that you see the, the port numbers is the 4405 is actually compiled the application it is all things is what we are expecting the all the the maps which are the functionalities all the maps functionalities that we, we are looking for and then and then also it has all the possibilities you can see John see for the maps the open street map you can also indicate the google maps and also you can also the the i will discuss this bit later the implementation i can indicate those type of geometries and i can you populate that those type of geometries and with that with the pop-up pop -up information to give electron information or pop-up information and also the geometry how can we design how can we move forward with the so things together so we'll discuss a bit, a bit more detail about this system and even though we'll discuss how can how can how can how can you programs and then and then how can you use image overlapping all things so you can also image overlapping functionality and also the, the GMF functionality, as I said, this is the GMF functionalities. So all the network information, and it will take time. I don't know, it will use over time. So you see, it's take time because a lot of data is rendering here. So that's the reason it takes time. So view server, that we are running also view server, that we have portal design, every view server calls. I will show you the, the view server call. So we can, we can minimize it, that's what we can done. And then also we can we can we can do it together. So the application is running, and how we can do the application, we can stop the applications, uh, uh, the application maybe see or the C stop the applications, and then <clears throat> and then we okay. So we had a project structure. We are running the project, running the application that we are expecting, and then we need to discuss now some functions, some some features and functionalities. So. That means uh, we have project structure, we have all dependencies, we properly configure, and we can run the application, then applications, and it's 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 it's, it's, it's really works. So what we need, we need to make a plan. So we have all the the structure is there. So we have index files, then we have the like this the list of files. We have components. So we, every component when we created the component. It has three files. Let, let's let's discuss about the name components. So it has a components like when you create a component, it has three files. Or any components when you create uh, ng ng generate the components, it has a HTML file. So you see that there is simple HTML file. It is including the it has CSS files. You see that all the CSS files, and then it has some. TS type script files that can definition of the component definition and component injected the, the selectors, the selectors and also the, the, the HTML link with the, the, this class and then also the CSS or SCSS files. We are using, I am using here as CSS files that can be proper structure of the, of the, of the, for, of the any component of when you create any component in the Angular, Angular applications. It's default just like HTML, CSS and the type script. Have files, the class files, and definitely, and it's linked to that. If you are creating the service, just we have it. If you're creating a service, that means it will automatically create only the two files, like one TypeScript file is the injectable, just the files itself, and then it has a test files, which is the your, your service definitions. It has then models, you can even create the models, it's coming this model. Structure. So it's, it's like you can create a for interface, you can create the models, and then so on and so forth. So let's have a check the, our application main part that we are looking for. The application main part, this is the part of the application. So we have the header and footer, it has a map definition, and then we can go to the, our, this is the main uh, the implementation class. This we need to be understand here. So, so we define the base, base component, the global components, we define everything here. Then the global component, as everybody knows, the component, how it is look like, we define the leaflets and import the leaflets with uh, the icon, latitude, longitude, marker, polylines, and time maps. And this is the HTTP connections for the for the view server connections or your base service connections. So we import the necessary uh, the, uh, dependency 
and then we import the the, the project we import the, the, the HTML file and link CSS file is selected is there to pull the directory that we define into the team here automatically created and we define the the latitude or latitude of the longitude of the immense. So it has a latitude, coordinate uh, latitude, longitude, and it has a zoom levels. We define the which type of projection system because we, we need to shift in with the projection system with the Google Maps. We need to be transformed to the uh, to the to the to the projection system coordinate system from the ETS four four three two six and also ETS. It is the at the age five seven six. So it has all the definition of the of the of the, of the variables that we define. We need in the variables, the polygon, like a polygon. You can say the polygon, the polygon outer, in middle, and inner ring. That's uh, with the definition. That's the variable that I need. It has any types of. If you specify the type, it will be type any types. But those are new into the. Angular, as I said, we need to be follow the, the structures. Because I put it in any type of the data sets, or the any type of variable type of data. So we defined all the variables, and we defined that this is the default constructor. The constructor needs to be tall and twenty handles like the our default default files. So it has to call in the the the, the view server URL path. That's where I define that's where the view for view server is running. That I say. The view server is running uh, into the port number. Uh, I believe this is the service call. It is running somewhere. The log information. I don't know where to look. So it is somewhere to log the replication call. And uh, this is the this is information. It is view server locking, running the base URL and uh, running and also the the uh, the uh, your protection informations and then also the URL information and then it has a bounding box information that's what how we define the view services. So we, I guess I already discussed about my previous team class. Those are new just subscribe the channel so you get the idea how can you how can you configure your services with the view services with the with the view spatial data set as a matter the the view services is directly calling you to shape files, maybe it's all directly calling the you post keys or post GI database to build the view services. But I, I already discussed about this one view services, how can you call the the both possibilities and also the call the uh GSM file you can also call the uh, shape files and out and also directly connect with the post GI database with the, all the geo extension. That means you have a three possibilities, uh, the data sources possibilities to build the your 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 geo services like the DNS or the DFS services, and after creating the services, the definition in the view server definition and call the services into the your very simple HTML page or very simple in the Angular page. So that's what I did here. So it's very simple call of the DNS file and the page URL call, and it has redefined the initial maps. Is the most important part that I said in the, the latitude longitude. We are plotting the application into the uh, in the in, in Bangladesh, Dhaka city, and then this is the you see the, the latitude longitude initial map is set to the initial map with the zoom level into latitude longitude and, and zoom level. So it's a professional design. If you, you if you run the application in in, in, in in USA or in Canada, you just simply change the your latitude, longitude, weather, and it automatically focused into the application into the in the USA and Canada. So it's just like more focus control of the applications. So so you can more focus control application, or you can also switch off this, or you can see some data as well. So focus control applications. So it's more focused in the capital city in Bangladesh. So this is much better. And this is much better. So it's a setup is here the latitude longitude setup and it, and then it has the call of the, the all the services. It has a few maps, we define the maps uh, attributes, uh, attributes in the definitions, and this is the maps is linked to the uh, data elements. So it has a maps, data elements when the application started, it's, it's loaded the maps, uh, necessary maps and the necessary services that we define into the application the App that APK app, uh, component that HTML files the classes in here. So when the application loaded, it will read the class files or definitions and get and visualize the 
your files into the HTML, CSS files, uh, HTML, HTML file, and then uh, and then your, your CSS definitions. So it has definition like you have the maps definition.